So I use this instantiate feature to create a business hours entity inside of Postgres. So I have that uh, modeled after this business hours entity inside of Syncry. And now I want to uh, sync the schemas so that I can uh, have the Postgres destination auto-mapped and any new fields that come in will also get auto-mapped. So uh, in order to do that, we go over to Schema Studio. We'll switch this to Salesforce because that's where we're going to get the schema from. And we'll click on Schema Sync. I'm going to click Add Setting and choose Business Hours. And then I'm going to choose the Synapse that I want this schema to be synced to, and that's Postgres. And then I'm going to choose the entity in Syncery that I'm going to pass the schema through. In that case, that's Business Hours in Syncery. And then I'm going to choose the entity in Postgres that I want to sync the schema to. So again, that is Business Hours. And I'll click Save. Once that's been saved uh, for the first time, uh, you'll wait for one sync cycle, and then the uh, draft should be created that has Postgres as the destination. So we'll look at that uh, in a second. So after the first sync cycle, when schema sync has been done, you'll uh, come back to Sync Studio, and you'll see a draft that's been created for the entity. If you go ahead and double click on that, um, you'll see now that you have Postgres has been auto-mapped as a destination entity. And then if you uh, single click on here, you'll see uh, that there are a bunch of drafts that have been created. Um, it'll only be the fields <clears throat> that directly map to a Salesforce field. Um, these have uh, sources for Salesforce, but they uh, don't have exact fields that match. Um, so the ones that you had to manually create, you'll have to um, manually map those to Postgres. Um, so the easy way to do that um, is just inside of Manage Field Map. Um, we can come in here, click on Map Fields, and just follow the steps that we followed before. Postgres, Business Hours in this case. Salesforce business hours ID. We're going to sync from Syncery into or from the Salesforce business hours ID field. Go we'll ahead and do the other ones. All right, so we have the three that we created uh, automatically. I'll go ahead and click on map three fields. And our mapping is done.